the challenge is immense and if business pick up that challenge, the enterprise in local enterprise partnership will shine. This LEP gives us a unique opportunity. And I think probably for the first time, the fact that they are business-led and, and, and deep business involvement gives us the opportunity to have a voice in the way that we can develop the local economy. Local enterprise partnerships and the responsibility for them is shared between this, the Department for Business Innovation and Skills, and CLG. We've never before had this kind of forum for the private sector to be in direct dialogue with the local authorities covering the whole of Staffordshire. I think the most positive thing about this is that we're focusing on enterprise. It's something that those of us who come from the private sector have been encouraging with partnership with the public sector. Well, the key word is the one in the middle of local enterprise partnership. And if we engage with business and, in, and business engage with the process, then we can achieve an awful lot. My involvement is really to look at um, the private sector, what input we have, what do we do in the private sector that's different and can have some advantages in the public sector arena and sharing, really, what those ideas might be and seeing if we can, um, let's say, get some progress through for the county and get central government funding. There's a real buzz. I'm really excited. After hearing all of those presentations, I just want to get up and start, you know, I want to make things happen. I think it's a phenomenal opportunity, a once lifetime opportunity, for us to work closely with the business sector um, and local authorities together to make it really beneficial to everybody across Stoke and Staffordshire. And the positive outcomes are going to be that we're going to increase the number of jobs in Staffordshire and we're going to increase prosperity in Staffordshire. What is LEP? What is it all about? Well, I think it's pretty clear that it is about the economy and it's about enterprise. We half expected that actually there was a high level of interest out there, but having to count the numbers uh, is a great start because it just shows how many people a, are interested in finding out what it's all about. But the sense I get from talking to people around the room is that also there's a huge willingness to say, what can I do to help? It's the world that we're in. It's our new world. We have to work in it. We have to learn how to breathe, how to talk, and how to make it work for us. It's not an easy place to invest in. There's a lot of red tape, and I hope that they can shake the tree a little bit and cut that out, and in particular, make planning easier for people who are prepared to put buildings up to employ people. Are there particular employment sectors or geographical areas that we need to concentrate on and which should have their own dedicated subgroup? We need to be able to communicate what's going on. Um, they need to be able to know what we think and what we want and we need to know what they're doing and responding. Um, we need to look after the environment. It's uh, have wise growth, so that's all about um, growing in quality and value, not necessarily always in numbers, looking after the place where, we've, uh, where we live and work. What I'd like to see more actually is what we do to encourage businesses to start here. So it'd be interesting to work with the LEP going forward just to understand how we encourage a greater business birth rate, which again is, uh, is one of the problems that Stoke and Staffordshire faces. There isn't enough businesses actually starting in the area. Look, I think the most positive thing is the fact that the government are expecting business to run it. And it's obviously the case here in Staffordshire, where the business have taken over the main uh, in, um, running of the of the LEP and, and have taken a very keen interest. And it's a good thing because that's exactly what we hope. In Staffordshire, we've got a fantastic example of public-private partnership working already in the um, award-winning destination management partnership. There are 27,000 small and micro businesses out there. If each one of those, or if even half of those, took on a person, an employee, that's 13,000 employees that we would have, new employees. So we're at the start, we're jumping off the diving board into this wonderful, exciting place. I'm a local guy, uh, brought up and bred in Stoke-on-Trent, live in Stafford, and uh, really quite passionate about getting this area back on its feet.
I think today's been fantastic. It's, it's the first time that we've actually gone out as a local enterprise partnership and spoken if you like to the wider market and I think um, certainly the feedback I've had in breakout sessions etc has been extremely positive. Well I was so pleased to see that we had support from business today with over 250 people from the region coming to support the LEP. The LEP is the most exciting project I think really for the people of Staffordshire and the board that we've got there will certainly drive really the economic regeneration of the region in the years to come.